Good day to you people, my name is Thomas and we are back with another Cat Lady video. Um, sorry if I'm uploading these like Cat Lady videos too much, I know you got, uh, well, you put guys want to probably want a break from it. But, uh, I've been busy with, um, my college exam resets and, uh, it's just, yeah, it's just clogging up my time and I just really haven't found any kind of other game that I want to show or play or whatever. But anyways, we are back with another cat lady. So, let's go back to here. So last time we met, oh, well, we left off, we uh, found Joe, who is a parasite. And we discovered that he may have killed, he killed his wife, I think. And uh, now we're in the, well, he killed us. Now we're back in this weird dream-like thing. So, so, um... The woman we talked to gave me a heart attack. Uh, basically, she said misery. I don't know why. There's nothing special about it. Panel. Uh, the metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. Uh, do we have a screwdriver? I will need map. Nope. No, we don't. Wardrobe. There are bloody handprints all over it. Someone's bled on this chair, too. <clears throat> oh my, uh, ah, my throat. It's killing me. <clears throat> Hang on, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back, and I swear to God, my body's trying to kill me. Anyways, so, this bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of the beds they have in che cheesy country hotels. Oh. Bookcase. It reminds me of the book. It reminds me of the book Echo Boy, where Audrey just looks at a bookcase because I'm while I'm married to getting murdered. Very terrible book. There's a book called titled Misery here. Ooh! Is that what she meant? It's a long shot, but I might as well try. Okay, so let's read this book called Misery. And I just have to adjust my headphones because I'm always paranoid. Right, um, hang on, let's examine it first. Is this book she, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, open. Oh, hello. A screwdriver. I suppose it's, I suppose a part of me expected a gun. But this will come in handy for sure. Ah, can we use the screwdriver here? Use? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so what do we got? Panel. Uh, pull the left switch, pull the right switch. What if we pull the right? Oh, are you okay there, matey? Uh, you okay? Hello? Misery. Is that what you said? I don't want to hear you ever again. That's even though I'm not scared. That's still fucking creepy. No, thank you. Okay, so what? Okay, what if we pull the left switch? Hmm. Hang back. I suppose it's better get back to school. Um. What if we give her this? Nah. Uh, so I suspect. Huh, so the panel is open, but. Hmm. He seems to be getting angrier each time. Um, 
So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. Well, yeah, I could tell. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe. Uh, I can't go back, so... What else have we got? Um, power lead, screwdriver. Can we use the screwdriver on the wardrobe? There's no nothing to unscrew here. Power lead? Can't use it here. Hmm. This has a special belt. It. Can I? Can I hang it there? Uh, what if we put the dress on? Uh, nah, can't. Hmm. Well, we definitely know what time it is. I'll definitely have to cut this into pieces. Okay, so I've had a good um, look around, and um, I think that I've I've just noticed this. I'm very stupid, but um, on the board, on that panel over there, there's numbers one, two, three, four, and it says that, and it looks like hands. Right and left. I, f I feel like it might be a code, but I don't know what. Five, ten, five? Left, right. Actually, hang on a sec, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, I've got you now, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. What they meant by that, ah, uh, I think I might have got it, I think I've got it. Hopefully it works. I've been walking around this place for like, at least 20 minutes. I'm making that up. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been there, but let's just say I've just walked everywhere. Okay, uh, so, right, right, left, right. Let's, let's try that. Okay, right. Right. Left. And right. The. Um, shall I do it again? Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, what the hell? No. What do you mean by no? No, no, no! Are, are you, um... This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. Oh, have it, it always no. follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind! Maybe that- it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Okay, jeez, fine. Um... I, you leave me no choice. Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. Uh, kill me if you want, but I won't do. Uh, let's go for the bottom option. Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her. I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Ah, <laughs> too bad. I'm immortal. Um, oh, I'm back. Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, was I dreaming? I... 
something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. What? Be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Okay! Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, never mind. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd ask you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. I ain't got a minute. I ain't got a minute. I ain't got a minute. Did you? I. Yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me. Was it? Uh. Carrot. Just go for the top one. Yes. A carrot. That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yeah. Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay. Don't get too big headed now. Sure, but I am the greatest. How oh, are you now? Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. Oh. Uh, but yeah, after what just happened. Wait, what, what, what? Well, actually, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I'm just going to do something. What if we go back to, um, the twelfth one? And if we do the combination again. Right. I'm just gonna skip this part of the video and get to the point where we we are left with a choice. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so you, um, I am back with the choice, so let's go for the first one this time. I... You leave me no choice. Go ahead. Wrap it round her neck and pull it tight. Yes. There's no other way. Oh, jeez. Ah, shit. I think I... I... I don't know. Ah, crap. Crappity, crappity, crappity. Did you just try to strangle me? Ah, oh. crap. Oh, oh God, God, no. Crappity, I would never crappity, do that, crappity, Mitzi. Crappity, crappity, I guess crap. I... I must have oh, no. panicked. I thought you were... Someone else. Oh, crap. Look, I was gone for less than one minute. Oh, what have really? I done? Oh, what have I done? Somehow it felt longer than that. At least you found the laptop cable. That's good news because I don't think mine will be any good. Oh, Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Oh, uh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have that I done? That was a waste of time. What have Never I mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Uh... Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So? Did you? I... Yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me. Was it... Carrot? Yeah, uh, just... Yes. A carrot? That's amazing. <laughs> How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay. Don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but... I am the greatest! <laughs> Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no choice. 
Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. I hope I didn't, you know, accidentally... Yeah... Shmuck. Uh... Don't... So, what next? Maybe it's time to visit Pauline and her baby in flat 8? Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry about if I tried to st strangle you. Hopefully that didn't impact anything. Because if it did... Oh, God. Okay. So we know that basically it just does that. Anyway, so map. Let's see. Okay, flat eight. We'll go to the very top then. So Joe, I don't know what happened in Joe's flat. Just basically, they had a fight. Okay, so um, yeah, Mitzi, can you lock a picker? Let's find a lock first. Listen. <laughs> okay, so the baby's in there. Lock. Coming. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. Oh, I, I could really use a job. Oh, these I school know. tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. I... Why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Uh... Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Um, oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. Oh, um, I'm Miss Ashworth's lodger. Mrs. Uh, a works for the agency. Um, let's just go for the top one. Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this, so she offered to come along. She is my favourite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to She looks rather unstable with the, with the child. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? I'm not yes. quite well, sure. You sure sound enthusiastic. You okay there? Would you that? like to come in? Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's uh. okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Oh, you don't seem shy at yes. all. Yes. Well, oh, you'll... Yeah. Okay, I'll come. That's a spirit. There we go. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see what we do. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. It looks better than all I the others. I myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. 
Do you think I know anything about babies? I thought no. you did. But I'm trying to fake it, and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Just shout it out, why don't ya? Okay, problem, problem. What do we got? What can we create? There could be a problem. Pictures. Oh, hello. They're mostly picked photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex's face missing on... Ah, uh, she's a bit nuts. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? Uh, that's uh, very creepy there. I. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Um... Yes, I used to babysit my neighbour's yes, kids. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbour's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd um, like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Oh. Uh, where do you work? Um, there just aren't enough support for working um, parents. Where's Alyssa's dad, do you mind me asking? I don't think we might want to cause her more insanity. So, um, we'll just go for the first one. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Ah, uh, right. Uh, second one? It just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Oh, oh dear me. So I haven't really got a choice. Hmm. It's either this, or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Um... Uh... Let's avoid the, um, the talking about the dad, because she'll probably go even more insane. So we'll ha we'll go for the uh, the second option. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage Alyssa. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. <laughs> yes, definitely. She is not going to like but her. I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? Uh-oh. What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, uh... if you must know, I... I stroked a filthy looking dog, I volunteered at the hospital earlier, I hugged a homeless man inside the house, I might have forgot to wash my hands after using the toilet. Uh, I'll just go for that. I stroked a filthy looking dog. Oh. If that's the case, then I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. I'll show you to the bathroom. Oh, hello. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. I it's what? probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. I'm coming, I'm coming, Jesus! Oh, hello, that's Your a- turn, Mrs. A. That's a very big TV. Seriously. Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure- I'm coming! Those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay, so uh, let's see about this um, person. Door open. Well, hello! <laughs> hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My oh. name is Rita Tickle. Hello, Rita. Welcome in, please. Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? You're Wait, just <laughs> hang on a second. You're very British. I you have an appointment. 
It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? She is so... On, I said. She, she sounds so British. Um... Beat it for eyes. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just go for the top I'm one. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. sure. Your time. See ya. Bye bye. Wait, wait, wait. Bye. Sod off. There must have been some kind of mix up. No, Sod off. There wasn't a mix up. You're just too late. Go um, away. I better call the office and find out what happened. Are you gonna be kidding me? I better call the office. Oh. Jeez, what a knob. Okay, uh, look inside. Her kitchen is sparkling clean. Uh, pictures. Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some, there's also a guy on front of them, but his face seems to be cut out in every single picture. He appears on, oh, oh whoops, wait. <clears throat> my. I swear to God, my body's trying to kill me. Uh, bookcase, what do we got? Uh, nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. Hmm. Uh, window. It gets dark over the side of the building. That's a big TV. I think it's a baby! Hey, yo, baby! That is a baby! Um, photos. There's lots of photos of Pauline uh, and her ex. His face has been cut on every single one of them. Laptop. Use. I don't know enough about computers. I should have left it to me, Mitzi. Examine. It's Pauline's laptop. Um. Scissors. I'll take them. Thank you. Stupid woman. Leaving baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. Ah, my... Okay, now that we have the scissors, uh, bathroom door. I can hear the water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. Okay, so what can we use the scissors for? Oh. Hi there. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Oh, whoops. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah. Me neither. It's just... I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Uh, Wait! Um, I think I might have um, forgot to tap off of the room. My hands are still on clean. I've washed them again. I'm feeling sick all of a sudden. I got something in my eye. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? Uh, ah, crap. Rap. I think I've got something in my eye. Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. Ah, why do you have to Don't be, be so... Such a baby, Mitzi. Why do you have to be so difficult? Uh, I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. My hands are clean enough. I should wash them again. Uh, the bottom I'm one? feeling really sick all of a sudden. Awkwardness? Hmm. Yeah. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm i scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Ah, oh, please, please. Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. It's that dirty dog you were touching, isn't it? Oh, poor thing. Uh, okay, who... I bet it's the agency again, thinking, Oh, I want to come to the agency! I think there's a bit of a mix-up! I'm supposed to be... Whatever. Oh, what a surprise! It's you! Again! Again?! Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is flat number eight. You are so Hi, British. Sweet, tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. You are. May I come in, please? You are so British. I told you already. You're too late. I've told you already. You're too late. You have. I, I just thought I got the wrong door last time. It's the right door. 
I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Go. You were looking for a nanny. Yes. I have 10 Go. years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Uh, also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, blah, blah, and I only blah, take one blah, break blah, every blah, five blah, hours. Blah, 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 blah. Just to use the restroom. Blah, 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 wow, blah, blah. That sounds really great, but I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. We've already got one! Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> uh, yeah, wait, what? You're an evil person. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Bye. Yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, yeah! Okay, let's go back to this, um, Susan and see what she gets. Hello? Uh, ba uh, back to the door. I can hear the water running, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, baby. Hey, yo, baby. Uh. Now what? Um. Kitchen? No. I suppose the only thing we can do now is to go to the, um. Uh. The laptop. Use? No. Examine. It's Pauline's laptop. Can I use anything? Can I, um, screwdriver? I need to screw here. Um, examine. Nope. What do I do? Ah! There's lots of people falling in the Rex. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not that stupid. There's a big TV. Window. Pictures. Bookcase. Nah. Uh, what if there's something I missed? Fram? Just look at this. Painful. Yeah, yeah. Can I use this? Uh. <gasps> Wait, hang on a minute. What if we give the scissors to the baby? What if we give scissors to the baby? Then, a Mitty will grab it off them. I think. I don't know. Hey, baby, do you want to play with scissors? Uh, nothing to cut. Oh, jeez. Uh, but we know what to do now. What does the walkthrough say? I'm very stupid, aren't I? I'm very stupid as I just missed the most simplest of things. Okay, we, we have to go to the electric meter and cut it. Okay, scissors, cat. It's pure inside. Don't do that shit anymore. There must be. What? Hang on, what? Hang on, cat. This is pure suicide. You are mortal, you stupid bitch. I, I don't do that shit. Not anymore. There must be a safer way. Fine, if you have to insist. Do, can I cut it? Can I cut it there? Time to cut it anywhere. Ah! God damn it! Walk through. Give me your advice. Uh, this is a, uh go to see door. Choose any dialogue to give it to person. Go towards flat seven. Switch off the ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. Then I just gotta do it very quickly. No 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 no. Come on come on. Cut. These scissors seem sharp enough. There we go. Better. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, what is going on? Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I... I, I, I can't move. Oh god, can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. 
There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. I feel so I feel kind of sorry. We're kind of teasing this woman. Oh, now we're controlling Mitzi. Laptop. Use. <sighs> right. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> what have we got? Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. Down, down. Nothing? So it's not her either. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's a waste of time. It's time to leave. This interview is over. Let's go! I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. Oh god! And I it's the British interviewer! Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting oh. a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Oh, it's you. Oh. My name is Rita Tickle. Ah, blah, 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 blah. What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? <sighs> I've never seen her before in all my life. Oh, God, here we go again. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Stupid. Blood. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house, anyway. Sis. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No, of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Oh, of course okay. we can. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. Well, here we go. We also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Oh, I bet there is. Tons of porn! Loads of porn. What, what, I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay, so uh, let's go to flat 7. Go up the stairs, and we'll go into flat 7. The door is locked. God damn it. Um, what? Oh yeah, Mitzi. Pick lock. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. But no pe I never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. I've closed them. There, <laughs> job done. Let's go inside. Oh! Jesus. Are these okay? What in the name of hell? Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, for a second I thought they oh, were. Good, that's good. I thought they because were. Because I swear, human masks. if I see another bloody head. Halloween masks, plants, plant speaker. Jesse's PC. Let's switch it on. They don't work. It seems that the power... Someone's cut the power off. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops. It doesn't work. There's no power. Socket. Examine. Dusty PC pocket is socket. If we had access to an electrical outlet. <gasps> ah, ba da da da. Hence the reason we have, um... Well, now it's gone. 
An extension cord? So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. But I'm not going there again. I want to make that clear. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Back down we go! Also, I think um, it may be an hour long, but... Uh, I guess this. And then if we go inside here... Then we just have to go... Here, I think. Yep, and then cable plug in. Then we just go straight back up. Do 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 staircase, and we want flat. Well, we just want the top flat. Bit of spit on my computer. Ah, oh, jeez, my ah, my body is trying to kill me every single time. Now I've got bits like pain in my back. I haven't slept in a very comfortable position, so. Ugh. Oh. Right, I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It's not him either. God damn it. So So it's either Brian or the old man. But I know that Stack. Well, we definitely know that I'm going to definitely end this episode here, so if we just go, just, oh, whoops, <laughs> what am I doing? Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, again, sorry for all the cat lady episodes, it's because, you know, like I said, I just haven't found the time to find any other new games, but uh, I'll probably make it up to you. I'll try and, well, yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. If I can't, then I'm sorry. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to see more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.